So, ma so many plays back. Bandy's on for the dogs now, but he's outside the 50. So who will it be left to in the square? Darcy and Grant. Hahn at the bottom, missed his first chance, took his second. Oh, he took it very well. Uh, that was a great effort once he had the footy in his hands. And yes, and, and once again, the kick to the top of the square, we saw... Blue give an option, but they're continuing to go short. To cross from the edge of the centre square to Murphy. Hammers the ball in, big chance for the Bulldogs. Here's a chance for Scott West. Can he kick a goal? Bounces through. Oh, got a big go. particular quarter but does that mean how vital someone like Robbie Shirley is who can just have that mental toughness to actually put someone like Scotty West down in the game he's just kicked a magnificent goal there with poison skill put one of your better players on the best player for the Western Bulldogs and just get him to follow him around because you know West will get the ball and will take back to the right spots here's Eagleton sharking beautifully what's that like he's kicked it oh, another great goal to the Bulldogs by the Western Bulldogs players and once again here Eagleton sharked the ball from the rut contest put it on his right leg which is not really a noted right foot kicker and really it's a very timely goal in the context of the game down Syracuse a short Johnson can go wider does so round the corner again Gilby with some space second chance from 60 metres what will he do this time don't give him two chances because he'll kick the goal the kick back through the middle that opened up the play because the Adelaide Crows defence was actually sitting back in space so square it up back through the corridor and then a good long goal so is Cooney Cooney gives it to West West to Griffin and here come the Bulldogs Griffin runs down the corridor sidesteps wants to drill it long has another bounce Griffin now has three bounces he drills it long ready to fly as Robbins Grant over the head, Jansen! This is amazing stuff at Telstra Dome. And Ryan Griffin, one bounce. Two bounces. I'll have another. Three bounces. <laughs> and they're not dead yet, the Bulldogs. For a turnover for the catch, Johnson took his eyes off it before he picked it up. Harm was desperate. Robbins tried to get it through the pack to Eagleton. He was effective. Skipper. Eagleton. A snap from somewhere. Something from nothing. Unbelievable. The margin, incredibly, is 67 points. All inside their forward 50. Skipper was on the lead. He went over and made a tackle. The, bills, the ball spills out. But then they had numbers, they just forced the ball uh, their way, it spills out, Eagleton's on the end of it. Bounces on the wing, chips it over the top, Morris, he's about 70 metres out, takes a while, sets it up to Minson who works in front, leading back in the race down there is John Siracusa, but he hacks it out of mid-air for a goal. Don't like to fall into stereotypes, but I'm sure he had a few relatives who knew what soccer was all about, Gian Syracuse. It's up with Hargraves, pumps it long to Grant. Robbins is there as well. Glass for the Eagles with Punda. Grant was desperate. Robbins tries to bounce to his feet. Hugs the ball in. Grant oh! clever, quick and gleeful as he nails it off the left with his fifth goal. Oh, Chris Grant gets a, gives the ball off, gives a shepherd. But it was Chris Grant's effort to dive in there. He beat the um, Wirrapunda to the uh, to the effort there, to the ball, scooped out quickly on the left foot. <laughs> a sensational goal. Murphy again, well done. And a good kick too, out wide. To Harris. Could he go all the way? It's not a bad effort. Harris from fullback has kicked the goal. It is party time. To the fullback. Well, he's already kicked one this year. And Chris Grant will be smiling too because uh, their centre half back has kicked two, their fullback has kicked one. It was a great finish, wasn't it? He's got a bearing delivery. And Robbins wastes no time. That was a little ambitious. They're still alive. Grant 
Can the old fella kick another one? Can he what? It's another nine-goal quarter. <laughs> they kicked nine in the second. Then they got stuck in the desert. And now they've kicked another nine in the last. They could get a goal on the counterpunch. Here's Johnson, keen to fix the air up. Gilby on 50, on the boundary line. They need this. That's a great shot on goal. Lindsay Gilby, he's kicked his third. Great goal. That is very, very difficult. Again, just turnovers are giving every side here an opportunity. Both sides get their goals from turnovers in this style of end-on-end -end football. Half forward. This is Hargrave. Long to full forward. Grant in great position. Rowan Smith again. Another one. Oh, yes. Better than the other one. Oh, the dog's on fire. He's got three. The old dogs with some new tricks. Boy. Grant, who brings the ball down to, to ground here, and the kick off the ground by Smith. But we've got to take it to the other end, Chris O. It's the mistakes that are really hurting Geelong. Eventually, Fumbles. eventually... You're going to... Look at West. Back and forward, helping out McMahon straight up the middle. The Western Bulldogs look good here. Cooney on the lead. Almost took it. John Syracuse, front and square. Gets out of trouble, hooks around on the left and kicks. A terrific goal. Fantastic work by the Western Bulldogs. Well, that's the class of someone like Johnson and West, but also, too, there were two guys on Jonathan Brown ended up being when he actually went back for that mark. So they're working it quite well once they win the ball out of defence. Overwhelming favourites on the back of their 79-point win over Port Adelaide, but it's the dogs who look impressive early. Cooney, wrong way, go back. Skipper tries to somehow invent a miracle goal. Oh, the skipper, too. He's put it through. Well, it's a great little release here by Cooney. Ran out of space, and this kick here... That's got to be almost goal of the almost year. Almost goal of the year. I mean, he was off balance there, Skipper. What a wonderful effort. Feeds it out wide, Faulkner. Confronted by Holland, but he's got time. Kicks into the pocket. Chance for Robert Murphy. He's got to beat Ben Johnson. Where will he go? Decides to do it all himself and bring it back. Inspiring stuff from Robert Murphy, if you don't mind. What a goal! There's the icing on the cake for the Bulldog fans. And they know it. And let's have a look at this. And Stevie gets the ball to Murphy. He has a bit of a look inside. There's no one there. Yeah. So he says, well, no one there. So, OK, let's have a ping. And he brought it across his body in sensational style for a great goal. Last 10 of the first quarter and the first 10 of this. Gee, a well-weighted kick that was to Harris. Here's the Faulkner Goddard duel. Faulkner wings a three. Advantage play on. Hargrave runs. Robbins wants it on the lead. Hargrave goes longer. Johnson might let this go through. And they are charging now. They have, and I think that they're just in control at the moment, playing their style of footy. The Bulldogs are in control of the match. The Saints aren't uh, playing to their strengths. They've lost Rewald, they've lost Harvey, and they haven't kicked a goal this quarter. Three goals to none in nine minutes as the flood on in earnest. All 36 players are within 60 metres of this throw-in. So if the Tigers break, look out. What about if the Bulldogs break? And they do! Wagon. There's no one there! Have a look at this! And look at the speed. And the speed the is Boyd! Go for it, Matthew! Touchdown! 15 seconds! He's gonna get a goal! Oh, that's <laughs> one of the more bizarre goals you will ever see! On the board. That is off to the races! <laughs> that was a foot race. Oh. The 100 metre sprint, grand final day, half time. <laughs> oh. Don't tell me the game doesn't look more like <laughs> rugby union than rugby league. Because <laughs> George Gregan. This is rugby union in its oh. absolute finest, or is it rugby league? All we needed was the big dive across the line, but this was the smart play. <laughs> oh. If he had tried to pick it up there, I think he was gone.
That's good balance. Very few would have been able to do that. Well done. And, and, and Farron Ray, the shepherd, to give him a little bit of time to pick the ball up. It was inspirational, though, wasn't it, by Holland? We're sloping along. Gets a man inside 50. Bit of a hesitation with the pick-up from Burse. And now Hahn again. Just oh. bulldozes his way through and says, I'm going to go it all myself. And Mitch Hahn gets it onto the boot and gets the dogs within touch. And he was nice and strong. Broke two or three tackles. And that's one of his real strengths, isn't he? Just his ability to be able to shrug off tackles. His kicking's not the greatest, but that was a super goal. Great play, Mitch Hahn. To halfback, Ruse had the numbers, and that's make peace in front. No, not paid. And here come the dogs on the break. Handball over to power. Draws the player, gets it to Grant. Blind turns out of trouble. And the old timer goes to him. Vintage Chris Grant. What a ripper. The blind turn to boot. And that's the second goal for the quarter to the centre-half back. And I reckon his instincts as a, a forward of days of yours served him pretty well there. Oh, he did that well, didn't he? To spin out of trouble. Excelsi. Left Scott standing and then kicks it long. Grant's got it where he wants it against Lepic. Lepic almost took the one-hander. Michael comes in to lend a hand. Johnson's dangerous from here. Oh, oh what a goal, Brett Johnson! Oh, that's a match winner by the skipper! Oh, oh. oh, something from nothing, and that will really spark the entire team. He's got three, but he just plucks that from nowhere. Well, Justin Leppich a little bit unlucky, but from that angle, Mel Michael would think, yeah, it's going over the boundary line. They have that. Shit, so he'll have an eventuality. Oh, nightmares.